welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. So today I've just decided to crack on with the inspirational segments of my channel. In this video, I just really want to just focus on showing you how I do my vision boards. Um, you know, so many people ask me like, what is the purpose of a vision board? Why do you even do one? You know, and I, I, I always say to this like, well, don't you just want to visualize and clarify your goals and dreams? Your vision board will help you reinforce your daily affirmations and it will also keep your attention on your intentions. Like, what are you, what are you intending to do with your life? Okay, what are you trying to create? What do you want to be? What is your life purpose? What do you want to create for yourself? whether it's physical, emotional, spiritual, or, you know, what, what other health is there? Physical, just to travel the world. You want to focus on those key relationships in your life. Not only will you need to focus on these goals, you also need to act on them. You can't just make your vision board pretty and put it on the wall or put it somewhere where everybody can see it and not put your action into your visualized goal. I went online and I created a, a couple of slides on PowerPoint uh, and I just kind of pasted. I also put, look, I'm not like a vein or anything. This is some of the pictures of me. Um, because I really want to put pictures of me on this vision board because I want to attract it to me because I'm the sole purpose of this a vision I'm putting out into the universe and I'm asking the universe what I want. So what you ask for is what you get and what you think about you bring about. Normally I used to print on photo paper but I, I ran out of photo paper so I just printed with my printer and I actually laminated these. So, um, and I cut them up into the desired shapes, right? So, to just demonstrate what the result of the laminated stuff. Oh, business plan and all, everything business based. Um, and I, obviously I have a picture of my future king. Okay, yes, everybody, this is an image that I found online of a beautiful man. Yes! that's him right so to me what I always say to myself is what you want you can get right so let me tell you a story I want somebody who's on the same wavelength as I am okay I'm not going to deny that right so this image I don't know if this person is married but if he's not married he might as well call me okay <laughs> I'm just kidding but I'm just saying like this is the type of guy that I would want to look at and say you know what that's my husband and I'll be like so like hey girls this is the guy I'm marrying who's very highly ambitious because I am very ambitious I'll tell you that like right now my ambitions are like boom let me tell you this little story guys it's in Birmingham that is called the mailbox so I was going there to meet one of my girlfriends to eat, okay, and I was dressed really nice and I was um, coming from a business meeting. They were like doing some renovations in, um, no, not board, sorry, um, in the mailbox and so we had to like go some way. It was like some pathway where there was like wooden planks and I was wearing five inch heels, okay. And nobody warned me about this situation. I had to pray that I just don't fall, right? So wooden planks, very uneven, right? Um, I hear this voice. I'm like, who is that, right? And then he goes, you look beautiful, by the way. So I turn around and I see, wow, it's this beautiful man. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I was like, oh, thank you. Me. Wow, your brother matches my tie too. And I was like, oh my god, I, like, I know, right? Walking, and I see an ex boyfriend of mine. He comes over to me. I'm talking to this fine guy. He comes over to me, and he's like, oh my god, Lee. I'm like, oh my god, no, don't. <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why? Like, stop. 
okay no so um I just came in and helped me and like the other new guy was thinking whoa is this her boyfriend he's like oh well you know nice to meet you by the way I was sitting. Oh, Jesus why did you come at the wrong time and I just looked at I was like hi like why is it that you want this guy reminded me of this guy so I don't know what God was trying to tell me like yo man, you ain't ready okay you gotta launch your business then we gotta get back to this situation so it's one of those things that I just thought I would share with you um, so I'm going to focus on that, okay, Actually, on balancing myself. I just don't want to concentrate on business, 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 like how I was doing prior to this, and then neglecting my spiritual or my physical health. But um, you know me, I'm now doing my fruit and veg juicing and blending. I am now, I'm like constantly reading. I'm reading like self-help books, spiritual books, business books. I like to read like that. I find that reading to me helps me expand my horizon. Okay, so no more of that talking. So let's get started. I'm actually going to do my vision board whilst I'm recording this. So let's get started, guys. Oh, so before we begin, I'm actually going to show you where I'm planning to stick my images on. Initially, I wanted a shadow box, but um, when I went to like Hobbycraft and all those artsy crafty places I couldn't find a shadow box okay and I was like whatever right so I decided to do um then I was like cooking the other day and I noticed that in my kitchen I actually had this frame if I replace this image and just stick my um stuff on here and then because everything is already mounted I could just then put put it back on I had so many images so I was like god I gotta get a bigger frame I ended up having to go to TK Maxx home se section for those who know me you all know that TK Maxx is like one of my favorite stores okay because they always sell something different you're going to paste it portrait uh, no landscape sorry landscape way size let me go here it just feels so unnatural to be that side stick my stuff on here and then put it in my kitchen so I can see it. I can visualize it every day. Okay guys, so what you actually want to do is get your paper, laminate it, and cut it up into pieces. You will also need a pair of scissors, some glue, or some glue tech. Okay, let's get started. 